Welcome back everyone to the SMS show. That's right, show me something. And today I got a special episode for you guys. Uh, cancel culture, right? It's happening left and right in 2021. You know what? I've just about had it. I've had it with cancel culture. What do you think of cancel culture? What does it mean to you? Well, to me, it means like shadow banning, canceling people, canceling shows, canceling ideas, canceling free speech, you know? First thing I wanna talk about, they're trying to cancel Michael Myers. That's right, and actually, as we film this, it's Halloween, it's October 31st, and Twitter went crazy over Michael Myers because in his latest movie, the latest movie of Halloween, Michael Myers kills a gay couple, okay? And as soon as the, 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 the movie hit theaters, people started going crazy at Twitter because Michael Myers killed a gay couple. Well, you know, that's kind of what Michael Myers does, wouldn't you say? So, I'm not really quite sure why Michael Myers is getting canceled. You tell me, right? I thought he didn't discriminate. He just kills anybody in his path. But, you know, people took to Twitter and they're talking about canceling Michael Myers because he killed a gay couple. Interesting stuff. But on the villain hype, Chucky. Not Chucky e. Cheese, but Chucky from the Raiders, the head coach of the Raiders, was recently canceled and fired for emails that he sent, you know, from a span from 2011 to about 2018, where he was using homophobic slurs. Uh, talking about players and officials in the NFL. Now, I'm not even sure how people got to his emails, to be honest, especially from that time. You know, you'd think he'd be a little more strategic not sending such content, you know, through corporate email. But somebody got hold of these emails, and next thing you know, he's getting the ultimate cancel. He is no longer a coach for the Raiders. He issued a statement even though he has you know, been recorded on these emails, you know, saying homophobic slurs, he said in a statement recently that he has no ounce of racism in his body. All I can say is I, I'm not a racist. I don't, uh, I can't uh, tell you how sick I am. I apologize again to, to, to D. Smith, um, but I feel good about who I am and what I've done my entire life. And uh, I apologize for the insensitive remarks I had uh, no, uh, you know, I, I, I had no racial uh, intentions with those remarks at all. But um, yes, they can. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not like that at all. But I apologize. I don't want to keep addressing it. Now, what do you think? Does Coach Gruden, Mr. Chucky, deserve to get canceled for something he was saying like 10 years ago? Some would say yes. Some would say, you know, that's just locker room talk. What do you think? Post comments. I don't really have an opinion on it, but you know, people say things. Sometimes I mean them, sometimes they don't. And my kind of thing with this whole NFL coach scandal is, you know, where is there any room for privacy? Privacy of your own thoughts, privacy of your own freedom of speech. So, you know, it's kind of really just a mind a reminder to be careful what you're saying and around who you're saying it to, right? Otherwise you run the risk of getting canceled or in this case, getting fired from your job. Now, one of the main reasons that I decided to do this episode is because one of my favorite actors, comedians, Mr. Dave Chappelle. I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers of all time. I'm one of the best singers, one of the best looking motherfuckers you've ever seen. Hold my drink, bitch. You walk into any chick licking the whole side of their face, man is under the knife right now and is on the verge of being canceled by the LGBT community for his latest special, The Closer. I am not saying that to say that trans women aren't women. I am just saying that those pussies that they got, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not saying it's not pussy, but that's like beyond pussy or impossible pussy. You know what I mean? It tastes like pussy, but that's not quite what it is, is it? On Netflix. Now, I watched the whole thing with one of the homies, 
And my first reaction is, is this is kind of what Dave Chappelle does. He's a paid performer. I'm Rick James, bitch. Enjoy <laughs> <Draw> yourself. <laughs> He's a comedian. He pokes fun about his own race. He pokes fun about other people's races. He pokes fun about people on drugs. You got to Google shit that I lived through. See, this is why I lock motherfuckers' phones up. Seriously. Because the young kids, you guys, look, you need to take a break from that. We all need to break just from that technology, just for a minute. And, you know, that's one of the things about being an American or being in America is having that sense of freedom of speech, right? And comedy is his platform. So it's interesting that he's, you know, trying to get canceled by the LGBT community. And a lot of people are really upset about some of the things that he said about transgender people. Now he's gone on some interviews saying that he is not transphobic, right? But you know, he just, he made some pretty racy jokes. Caitlyn Jenner was voted woman of the year. Her first year as a woman. Ain't that something? Beat every bitch in Detroit, she's better than all of you. Never even had a period, ain't that something? Oh, I'd be mad as shit if I was a woman. I'd be mad if I was me. I just think it's interesting and I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think? Go ahead and post your comments. Do you think Dave Chappelle deserves to be canceled for his special on Netflix? Also, you know, on Netflix, the employees, they're having like a revolt. They're trying to like boycott Netflix and really stir up some controversy. Millions of viewers and he can say something that is transphobic. These people feel like they can say something that is also transphobic. I am not saying that to say that trans women aren't women. What do you guys think? Is cancel culture here to stay? Do you think people are just too sensitive in 2021? Or are there rules and guidelines that we need to live by in a society, in our society, and as, you know, human beings on this planet? I think it's a little give and take, right? But I personally think, you know, we shouldn't be taking too many things too serious unless it really does harm. And, you know, Dave Chappelle, he's a comedian. But don't take my word for it. Let us know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Post uh, your comments. And um, we'll catch you on the next one.